my channel. Happy Friday. So glad you guys are tuning in today because this video is long overdue. A lot of you guys have been commenting, especially in my last video or a few videos ago about my hair. How do I get it bouncy? This is my go-to way of curling my hair. It's very voluminous. Is that the right word? Mm, I don't know. But it's just very you know, I don't know what I'm saying right now. My hair used to be actually really short, if you guys remember, and blonde. And now I'm dark and I'm trying to grow it long because I'm missing putting my hair in a pony and also in a bun. So I'm really just trying to grow it out. This has been my go-to curly hair look for just kind of like that in between short and long hair. So if you guys want to see how I get it done, this is the video. I will show you how to do this with only three products. So if you guys want to see what I do, how to get this look super easily, a beginner can do this, just keep watching this video. To start, I'll be using the Moroccan Oils Protect and Prevent Spray to make sure my strands are heat protected. This definitely helps with dry ends and especially if you have colored treated hair. Breakage happens and this spray really helps protect mine and keeps my hair looking smooth and strong. Then I'm going to clip half of the hair up and then start curling the bottom section first. So this incredible curling iron I bought off Amazon, it's the Anjou Curling Iron 1.25 inch with ceramic coating. It had so many great reviews and was only $36 Canadian so I decided to buy it and I'm so glad I did. For bouncy curls, the trick is to keep the iron horizontal as much as possible. This gives the bottom sections that extra bit of bounce. Now when I curl my hair, I tend to leave it on for no more than 10 seconds just because I don't want to burn the hair and heat can be damaging so be nice to it. Once the bottoms are done, I'll loosely put it into a low bun so that the curls hold and set. Then I'll let my top part down and start curling the hair. I'm basically doing the same thing I did on the bottom, but as soon as we get closer to the front, I will curl the hair away from the face. And for me, this frames the face and accentuates the curls really nicely. You'll also notice that I don't use a comb through this entire tutorial, and that's because I just find that my fingers are so much better at this. It gives a more natural and wavy look. Now here's the game changer. I'm not a fan of sticky hairspray, so if you're the same, use a dry texturing spray instead. This one from Oribe is amazing. It gives curls extra bounce, texture, and my hair stays curled without that hard, sticky feeling which some hairsprays can leave behind. When I do this, I can wear my hair for several days and that's a huge bonus. And I also don't feel bad sleeping on it either because there's none of that sticky feeling. And now, we're done! Perfect, tousled, wavy, curly hair. Very, very easy. Now guys, don't go just yet because I've got a special surprise for you. Another giveaway! This giveaway includes the Marc Anthony Big Volume Collection with shampoo, conditioner, hairspray, super powder, thickening foam, and cream, as well as the Grow Long Collection which includes the dry shampoo, everything foam, and the anti-breakage mask with two bonus travel treatment hair masks. This is the ultimate hair giveaway and here's what you have to do to enter. 1. Be subscribed to my channel. 2. Comment below with one of your best hair tips. 3. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. 4. Follow me on Instagram, like my last three photos, and comment on them. 5. Add your country's emoji to your Instagram comments so I know you've completed all the rules. And that's it! I can't wait to send this out to one lucky winner. Good luck! Alright guys, that is my tutorial on how I curl my hair. Yes, I still use a curling iron, but let me tell you, I can curl my hair in less than 5 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let me know if you want to see more hair videos. Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in my next one.